everybody, my name is Ida and this is Silvia. I hope you know that by now. Uh, so anyways, we are in Korea and we've actually got a lot of requests to do makeup routines or get ready with us, those and type like of what videos. products we use. Yeah. So. so today we're just gonna do our makeup. I mean, I guess kind of every day, but I don't wear makeup. So for me, it's what I would wear for filming. And for me, it's just everyday makeup. We already moisturized and whatnot off camera because nobody needs to see that but i mean i guess it's worth mentioning that oh, yeah. this is what we both use are we doing the the beauty youtuber thing oh my god <laughs> look mom i'm a beauty youtuber is that what it's called youtuber <laughs> youtuber <laughs> lately i've been sort of thinking about moving back to korea mm. but i mean the visa process mm. is Difficult. Yeah. You don't have so, to tell me about it. Yeah, I mean you you tried and failed. <laughs> yep, I've failed successfully twice. <laughs> nowadays the whole business is getting kinda shady. Apparently nowadays a lot of people think it's legal to buy and sell visas. Mm -hmm. Which it's not. Um you definitely are like you're not allowed to sell visas. These agencies, they like contact people on Instagram that are like students or like, you know, just like in People Korea. that they know don't have an entertainment visa. So then these agencies, they find them through these hashtags and they DM them and they're like, Oh, hi, we want to sign you. And I mean, of course, that sounds great because that's all these girls want to do. They want to sign with these companies and whatever. But the thing is, these agencies will be like, Well, it is standard that you pay us 2 million won for the visa. This is not the case. That is really illegal and that means they are selling the visa. They will tell you it is like that's the price of the visa, like they have to pay. And it's true that you have to pay for a visa, but the company is supposed to yes. pay for it. And it's not two million won. No. It's a lot cheaper than that. A lot cheaper. So do not sign with a company if they ask you to pay for your visa. It's like, do you remember when like Tyra Banks was like talking about modeling and stuff and she was like, if an agency ever asks you to pay for them to sign you, mm. it's shady. Yeah, I mean, imagine you're like going to McDonald's and you're like, Hi, I saw you were looking for, you know, staff. And they're like, yeah, pay us $5,000 and, and we'll hire you. you. <laughs> and now it's everywhere. Yeah, because all these shady people realize that, hey, this is a great way to make a quick buck. I'm just gonna tip you guys about this cushion foundation. And obviously, this is Korea and if you're darker than Ida, essentially, it's very hard to find. I'm the brightest. I'm the brightest yeah. out of the two shades they have. Exactly. A lot of like brands literally have like two or three shades, mm -hmm. which is like white, white, and white. Yeah, it'll be like white, pink, or white, yellow. Right. So I found this Espoir foundation. This Gonna is... do the beauty thing. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm not used to this. <laughs> Can you see it? There you go. <laughs> Woo! It's Espoir Taping Cover Cushion. This is in the shade Honey. They have seven or eight shades, I believe. Mm. And this isn't even the darkest one. So if you are around my shade, or even like, if you have a warmer skin tone than I do, you can use this. Obviously still, if you have a very dark skin, you're not gonna have a lot of luck finding cushions or foundations in general in this country, but this one works for me, so... So I have to let y'all know. Yeah. So yeah, visas. No, but lately, like, it's become a thing oh, that people... Shit, okay, you gotta turn off your I phone. I can't help it that I'm popular. Nowadays, a lot of people, like, think that that's how you do it. Yeah. That's how you get a visa. That's what you have to do. You have to pay for your own visa, and no, no. That is not the case. Yeah, like, it's crazy how the illegal thing has gotten so mainstream, people think that's the right way. <laughs> right. Jeez. Because back when we were doing this, there was, like, one agency that was known for doing this, and everyone was like, Ugh. Stay away from that company. Yeah. That was, like, the last resort, like, I guess people <laughs> couldn't get, like, real visas. They went through them. And now that's the norm. And I think they're still around. Thing is though, I've heard from credible sources that they are like investigating these people. So if you are a, like affiliated with these people and they 
get busted. You and, get busted. Yeah, because then your visa is through them, and if their company doesn't exist, your visa is gone. Best scenario. Worst case scenario, you get the board. Right. Which is also worth mentioning that on a tourist visa, you're not allowed to do anything except tourism <laughs> in this country, because apparently people don't know this. Yeah, you can't study, you can't work, you can't... I don't even know what else you... Nothing. Cannot be in the background of a drama. <laughs> <laughs> You can't do anything, you're supposed to be yeah, a tourist. Like, you can't work. Yeah. If you're getting money, it's illegal. Definition of tourist. Tourist. But yeah, let's talk more about your dance group days. Because I know you talked about it, like, lightly before. Yeah. I made a video about it. Somewhere. <laughs> on this channel. <laughs> My friend who was in the group for, like, a short period of time. <laughs> just, like, went on this, like, throwback. Yeah, she started posting Instagram. like your old like profile shoots and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> she was like, "Remember that time when me and Sylvia accidentally joined their K-pop group?" But yeah, that was because oh, my I got like introduced to the CEO of this group through your CEO. Yeah, uh, in the company that Ida was in. So he was like, "You're a dancer, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Go meet up with these people." I literally went to a meeting, and all of a sudden, I found myself in a K-pop group. So, which has happened to me twice. <laughs> They're like, go meet up with this person. And I'm like, okay, normal meeting. They're like, here's a contract, sign it. And they're like, wait, <laughs> hold on. Yeah. But yeah, we performed a bit around in Korea, but mostly outside of Korea because that's what it's like with like yeah, dance, dance teams. teams. I was. <laughs> approach to be in a K-pop group. <laughs> Did I ever mention this on the channel? I don't think so. I don't think this I have. This was rather recently, right? No. This no? was before um, I signed with Double Shop. Oh, really? Yeah, so... Oh, my leg fell asleep. We're like squatting on a bed right now. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, no, so this was when I was like in my visa hunt period before I got with my company for like the entertainment stuff. And I was also going to a meeting um, and there was this guy and he was from, like, I don't want to say what company, but one of the main like TV channels in Korea, you know, that do like the music shows and stuff. So he was from one of those um, like TV stations and I don't know what his position was or anything, but he was, he was with um, one of those companies. <laughs> Keep talking, sorry. <laughs> just, just stretching. Um, yeah, no. So I went to this meeting and because I was just told that he had seen my like profile and whatever and he was interested in me. So I was like, okay, cool. Maybe he can recommend me to like some companies, whatever. But no, like what he wanted was to put me in a girl group. <laughs> he wanted to put me in a girl group with, uh, I think it was four other Korean girls. And I was like, but I don't sing, I don't dance, and I have no talent whatsoever. And he's like, it's fine, you'll be the visual. And I'm like, you're joking, right? Like, I'm gonna be the visual? Like, I'm gonna be the stereotypically useless member that can't do anything, and I'm also gonna be white? Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> I, I can just see the hate. <laughs> I'd be the one that's like, yeah. <laughs> you're the rapper. <laughs> yeah, I'm the rapper. I, I was... And he kept telling me, he was like, no, it's gonna be fine. And I'm like, but I can't do anything. Like, I can't dance, I can't sing. I don't like being on stage. Like, I don't like performing. He's like, don't worry about it. And I'm like, it's fine. I'm worrying about it a lot. <laughs> also, this sort of ties to another video that I have that's called <laughs> <laughs> Can Foreigners Become K-Pop Idols? It should go without saying, but I mean, obviously, based on comments, it needs to be said. In general, in general, what most companies go for when they make a K-pop group is uniformity. Yeah. They want everyone to look similar. Yeah. They have a similar look, same build, same height. Same height can be achieved by heels. Yeah. For example. And this includes men. Y'all know exactly. that. Exactly. Right? And, I mean, obviously they're not gonna reject you if you are like the best singer in the country or like up there and they're like nah you're two centimeters shorter than everyone else so sorry like obviously they're gonna put you in the group anyways and now 
the groups are a lot bigger than they used yeah, to Yeah, which also gives more leeway. Exactly. Like, you won't stand out. Like, if you have, like, a stair, <laughs> it's like 160, 165, 167, 170. Like, you know, it's, like, kind of like this. It's, it'll still look fine because the average will be, like, Mm -hmm. You know, you can always like put the shorter members in the front and the taller members in the back and it will look mm. uniform. Before the groups were like four, four to six members, Yeah, it's harder to get away with one that's super tall and the yeah. rest that are shorter. Or the other way around. Yeah. Which also a lot of people were saying in that video were like they were having like um, examples. I my eyeliner. <laughs> They're looking for it. So they were giving examples of idols that are like, you know, really tall in the group. But you know, they, they debut before they finish growing. Yeah. So a lot of these, especially girls, you know, they didn't finish growing yet. So mm -hmm. they have like the growth growth spur. Oh. Yeah, the same one. It's the best so one they have like the growth spurt a bit later or they're just younger than the other members. Mm -hmm. So like six months after after debuting, they're actually like a yeah. lot taller. <laughs> like the Twice girl. Yeah. Like the, the youngest one in Twice. The one from Taiwan. You know, in Tokyo. Someone time. knows, and I'm sure you will put it in the comments. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, she, when she became a trainee, she was super young. Yeah, even when debuting, she was like 15 or 16. Yeah. She had not, like, finished growing when she became a yeah. trainee. And then she became super tall. Yeah. But even still, she's not the only tall one in the group. Yeah. They so. still have... Again, it, it evens out if you if you line them up. Mm -hmm. There's no, like, one person that, like... Yeah, you can still, like, stands out. do this thing, you know? Yeah, same with BTS. Yeah. They're also, like, yeah, like similar heights. Yeah, like, half of them are shorter, half of them are, like, slightly taller. Mm -hmm. But then when you mix them, it's like, well, you know, you can't yeah. really tell. Mm -hmm. Another example that I've gotten is Seventeen. Yeah. And they're like a billion members. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't really matter that one is really short and they have yeah, one and that's really tall. Yeah, he's also super talented. Exactly. So. so obviously they're not gonna be like, no, you're super short, so you're not gonna be in the group, sorry about it. They sacrificed the like medium height <laughs> for <laughs> his talent. Yeah. Which also happens a lot. Like they'll just build a group around this one really talented person. Mm -hmm. And then if they happen to be short or tall, so be it. Yeah. But they will add members to like complement that one member because they're like, this is the star. Yeah. There are a lot of groups like that. And I know people are gonna disagree in the comments again. It's fine, disagree, do whatever you want. <laughs> we know this because we know people in the industry, but you don't have to agree with us. It's fine. Exactly. You're entitled to your own opinion, but you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to be wrong sometimes. Yeah. And I mean, Again, we're not saying it's not gonna happen. Look at Tiny G, they're all short. They made a group out of short people. Exactly. Do people even know Tiny G anymore? I don't that think That was so. like <laughs> 10 years ago. Uh, but there was a group called Tiny G and they were all like 150 or something. Like yeah, they're well, all really tiny. short. Yeah. Tiny G. Tiny G. Um, so, I mean, we're not saying it's impossible. We're just saying, like, if you are in an extreme, like if you're extremely skinny, if you're extremely um, tall, if you're like a bit bigger than the Korean, average for idols mm -hmm. um, it might be harder for you to get in because you would stand out yeah and I mean it goes with skin tones too yeah because even I um, like there are a lot of Koreans who have the same skin tone as I do mm. but not in the k-pop industry yeah only men only men yeah and like and even that it's like and you can even like <laughs> look at men and they will have like the white like, oh, yeah, the line, line because they put lighter makeup on them still yeah it's but like even i and i'm not i'm not even that dark mm -hmm. i would stand out in a k-pop group and they would probably give me the pale treatment yeah that they give a lot of foreign <laughs> idols yeah um because i mean you can lighten someone's skin <laughs> yeah it is possible it is possible and i mean especially since most people are darker because they are in the sun, mm -hmm. just by training indoors for six months, right? Like you will, you will naturally <laughs> get paler. Yeah, because I mean, those are also a lot of comments that we got. Like, look at this or this member; they're not Korean and they're doing great. Yeah, and like, yeah, but are they Asian? Yeah, yeah, they're like Chinese or they're Thai. Yeah, they're still blended. Yeah, I mean. I would say like 99% of 
of idols are either Korean, Japanese, Chinese, or Thai. Yeah. That being said, though, do I have two white friends who have been trainees like about to debut, but they like quit on their own accord? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not impossible. Yeah, it's not impossible. But is it super, 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 super hard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So our audio equipment just randomly cut out. We heard like the buzzing thing and it just kind of slowly overtook the entire sound quality thing. <laughs> it's the finished product! <laughs> well, here's a close-up. This is... Excuse me. Me, thank you. <laughs> Focus on me. On me. So yeah, this is my face. Um, don't usually wear lipstick, don't know how I feel about it, but... I like it, I think it looks good. It's what I look like. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes, <laughs> usually not at all. This is a close-up of my face, this is what I always look like. <laughs> every day. I might change my lipstick every once in a while, but usually... This is my face. This is my <laughs> always eyeliner. Yeah. So, yeah. It's weird seeing you. Signature Sylvia lips. It's weird seeing you without the eyeliner. Exactly. I'm like pressing against the wall, I'm like, wow, you look great! But yeah, if you like this type of video, Next time we'll try to finish it, right? Because this this was a good video. <laughs> I'm proud of it. It just cut out. Oh. So, anyways, if you want to see a finished product, <laughs> this kind of video, leave it down there. We could just talk about different subjects. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. And I'm just gonna go wash this off now because I'm going to the gym. Yay! Yay! Woo! <laughs> yeah, Bye. <I'm> <laughs>